Let's catch up with the world's greatest teenage vampire superhero team when a member of the trio, Sam, goes it alone and falls down a dark path. Will a former member of the nightclub become their latest enemy? Let's find out in our review of Nightclub Volume 2 Number 1 from Dark Horse Comics. See you in 3. Welcome back to Comical Opinions. This is our review of Nightclub Volume 2 Number 1. Oh, Sam, 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 Sam. What's a vampire to do when a girl he likes breaks his heart? Well, apparently he falls in with the wrong crowd just when the prospect of becoming a superhero becomes a near reality. Mark Miller plays up the trials and travails of being a high-performing teenager in Nightclub Volume 2 Number 1, but the slick execution and hard-hitting antics are as good as any mature story. Nightclub Volume 2 Number 1 begins with a late-night rendezvous in a junkyard. A group of thugs are discussing what to do with the two bodies they have in the back of their car. A pair of teens with a growing YouTube presence for displaying miraculous feats during vigilante crime stops, such as turning into mist. The thugs shot down the teenagers during a drug deal, and now they have to get rid of the evidence. Suddenly, the teenagers leap out of the trunk using a smartphone to film the proceedings. The masked teens easily take out the thugs and get them ready for the police to take away. Why? Starguard and Yellowbird, as they name themselves, are working their way through the criminal organization run by the infamous gangster known as Rufus T. And every bust, even when discouraged by the police, brings them closer to their goal. Mark Miller starts off the issue right by hitting the reader with pop, flash, and plenty of bangs as two-thirds of the nightclub execute a precise strike on drug dealers, killers, and gangsters. In a lot of ways, Miller's vampire team has the snappy personality and youthful energy of Spider-Man in his better runs. Certainly not any of the ones that are out right now. So you're immediately engaged by the spirit of fun. But be warned, this issue is rated mature for violence and lots of foul language. Later, Danny, also known as Starguard, and Amy, also known as Yellowbird, talk through the revenue that comes from filming their vigilante heroics and posting them on social media channels like YouTube. But they're not too enamored with e-stardom to think their business model will last forever. So they sock away their money to invest in their future. Further, they kind of lament and feel bad that they're not able to share their spoils with the remaining third of the nightclub, Sam, who left the group when Amy didn't reciprocate his romantic feelings and instead started to date Danny. Oh boy, the teenage drama. Can't say I missed it. That said, couching the drama inside a trio of vampire vigilantes is a unique twist that revamps, no pun intended, the model into a story that holds your attention. Plus, Mark Miller's knack for organic dialogue and relatable character interactions is top-notch. Later, we catch up with Sam as he dominates all comers on the basketball court. He uses his vampirically enhanced speed, strength, and accuracy to make himself the envy of all men and an object of desire for all women. Sam anticipates a visit from the basketball recruiter because he believes that his incredible skills will be his ticket to fame, stardom, fortune, and anything else he can imagine. But Danny comes by later to pay him a visit to implore Sam to stop drawing unwanted attention to himself. Sam is quick to dismiss Danny because he's just done with the whole superhero gig. Between basketball games and hanging out with his so-called friends, Sam is living the high life. But one day, one of Sam's friends, quote unquote, sprints away when two enforcers show up asking for missing money. Against Danny's previous advice, Sam intervenes with brutal vampire force but doing so brings him much closer to nightclub's goals than he intended. Overall, Mark Miller turns in a killer first issue to the nightclub's next volume with heaps of personality, sharp action, great dialogue, fantastic plot development, and interpersonal drama that is well heads and shoulders above anything you'd find on the CW or any similar type of teenage drama shows. Plus, you've got a super strong cliffhanger to boot. This is the type of storytelling that makes Mill World one of the best imprints in the business. Let's switch gears and talk about the art for a second. One of the reasons we got turned on to Mill World was through the mega outstanding miniseries last year, Big Game. The success of that series was due in large part to the terrific art from Pepe Larraz. Now, to be clear, Larraz isn't the artist of Nightclub Volume 2 Number 1, but Juan on Ramirez is just as good, which is a high compliment from our point of view. Ramirez's point of view, perspective on anatomy, Facial acting, panel layouts and composition, and meaningful action all look fantastic. Let's take a step back and look at the big picture. If you're a new reader jumping on a nightclub, the obvious question you're probably going to ask yourself is, how much do I need to know to get on board with these characters in this title? Surprisingly, not much. If you're curious about how Danny, Amy, and Sam became vampires, 
for the events that led to Sam's split from the team, the nature of their interpersonal relationships, or what kind of adventures they had in the past? These are all good questions to ask. And if you want the answers, we recommend you go read the first volume. There's a link to get the volume in the written review. The link to the written review is down in the description. However, if you don't pick up any of the back issues or the volume, Mark Miller lays out the narrative well enough for you to get the gist without having to struggle to figuring out who's who and what's what. Final thoughts, what do we think about Nightclub Volume 2 Number 1? We return to the Vampire Vigilante team to find typical teenage drama troubles and bad influences that have created a dangerous split. However, it's not what you think. Mark Miller's knack for organic dialogue, engaging personalities, and strong character moments are matched by Juan on Ramirez's slick art and excellent character acting. And on top of all that, you have superhero vampires, which is a hard premise to beat. Therefore, Nightclub Volume 2 Number 1 earns a 9.5 out of 10. Who knew a comic about teenage vampire vigilantes could be so entertaining? I mean, we sort of knew, but, you know, it's always great to be surprised. But what do you think? Is this your favorite Miller World title? Give us the thumbs up if it is, and leave us a comment below with which of Mark Miller's characters you'd like to see return to comics. Also, remember to click on the link in the description to read the written review and buy this comic to help support the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for joining, and stay tuned through the outro for more reviews just like this one.